I'm Dave and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell next to it so you get notified every time we post a video. If you're interested in learning to box at home, online, check out the link up here and it'll take you through to my online course. Okay, let's jump into today's tutorial, which is all about outside parries and using our hands as defense. So as I mentioned, today we're gonna to look at parries, which is hand defense. When we're using hand defense, we can hold the feet. There are different types of parries uh, to head and to body. We're going to look at all four. So it's called an outside parry. That basically means we're going to use the outside of our opponent's glove to parry the shot. Parries uh, can be done to the lead and the backhand. So let's have a quick look at how that would look. So if I'm just going to throw a jab and all that's going to happen is Gab's going to use a rear hand to parry my jab. So a parry actually moves the jab off of the centre line, whereas a block would actually just stop it dead. So just nice and slow. I'll throw the jab, ball, and again, ball, and again, ball. So you can see a hand is not just being stopped, it's actually being moved off the centre line, which puts me off balance, uh, which means I can't then set up my backhand, but it gives Gab the opportunity to counter. So first of all, let's look at, again, um, just taking my jab out and moving me off the centre line. Ball, and again, and again, ball. Good, and then from that position, there is a counter. There could be a counter left hook, for example, ball. It could be um, a parry and then a jab straight over the top, ball, ball. Okay, so there's lots of other things you can do from that. But the main thing is that we don't over parry and then we stop the jab. What does an over parry look like? It's when we reach out too far from our chins to block the shot. So um, if I throw a jab, Gabs is gonna reach for this and you can see now she's left a big target, which is her chin. So the problem with that is, if I see her doing it, so I throw a jab, boom, and I see her overreaching, what I'll do then is I'll notice that and I'll use that against her. So I'll faint and then she'll go to over parry and then I'll loop this over the top and I can attack with the chin. So you've got to be really careful with over parries. And most of the time, if you're over parrying, it's because your opponent's out of range anyway. So if they're out of range, you haven't got to do anything. They're not going to hit you. Mentioned it earlier, hold the feet. Why do we use hand defense? We use hand defense so we can hold the feet and counter punch. If we're, so if Gabs is gonna parry and then step back at the same time, boom. And as she wants to counter with a jab, she's gonna be out of range, so like this. Boom, now she's miles out of range. So she's lost the ability to counter, which is what it's all about. Positive defense is defend and then counter. So we hold the feet, because she now knows if she holds the feet, I throw, um, I throw she can not just parry, but she can counter. Boom, boom. Okay, so she's in range, she can land shots. Right, so that is the parry to the jab using your backhand. Now let's have a look at using your lead hand to parry the rear hand. Okay, so let's jump back to what we were talking about, which is uh, parrying the rear hand using your lead hand. All right, so that's next. So you've set up in a nice positive position. So positive position, we mean your hand's out here. If, you're, if, you're, if this is your defense, you're going to struggle to do any kind of parrying with the lead hand. So you've got to be in this position. It's already, as you can see, this already means my lead hand's already closer to my opponent, which means it gives me a little bit more chance to deal with a rear hand that's coming. So as you parry, what again, what we don't want to be doing is flapping about out here, trying to block rear hands because we're leaving ourselves exposed. All right? It is in fact the body, the hand stays almost where it is, and the body rotates and we can push that jab and push the rear hand out the way. Yeah, you might use your hand a little bit at the same time, but what we're not doing is staying square um, and just using our lead hand and flapping about out of front, because that will get you hit. All right, so I'm gonna throw my rear hand to Gabs and she's just gonna have a nice positive lead hand, so it's nice and far out already. As I throw my rear hand, she just twists and turns. And it moves my right hand, boom, off the center line takes out my other hand, because I can't now set up for another shot, or I'm gonna to have to bring it back from a long way. Um, it also gives her the opportunity, boom, to look at her own rear hand over the top. Okay, so we've mentioned the, the things to watch out for, which is flapping about at, a, um, at the start and leaving yourself open. So rear hand, outside parry to the rear hand, if you're an orthodox, is that left hand, uh, that almost like a twist. There, boom, and again, boom, one more. Okay, so, We've now done hand defense to the head against a jab and a backhand. The next one we're gonna look at is the outside parry to a jab and a backhand to the body. Don't see many people 
teach this anymore and I don't see many people use it anymore. Um, but it is still there, it is still used and it's something you may want to think about. Uh, I'm on the fence with this one, the jury's out a little bit, but let's have a look at outside parry to a lead hand to the body. So, obviously we, what we're talking about is a jab to the body, that's what we're trying to defend. Outside parry means we have to use the outside of their glove to move the shot away, which takes them off balance and takes their hand to the centre line. So, I'll do the first one. So all the jab gabs is going to do is she's going to drop down and throw the jab. At that point, I, I call it a scoop. I'm going to scoop it out the way. I'm going to hold my feet. Okay, so as she goes to jab, I scoop it out the way. And again, boom. Okay, and then just holding that position at the end. Boom. Okay, so I'm, my chin's down, my rear hand's up, and I've used the outside of the glove, and I've scooped it off. She's now a little bit off balance. Guess what? I've then got other shots I can bring in. You do sometimes see this. As they throw, boom. It's that step back in the scoop. But I don't understand why we're stepping back. Um, or if we are stepping back, why are we scooping? Because surely she's going to throw a jab to the body. I'm going to use foot defence. I use foot defence. I don't use hand defence. Um, so if you get, in my opinion, if you're going to use the scoop, hold your feet. It keeps you in range. It means you can counter punch. So again, one more time. Jab to the body. Boom. And again. Boom. One more time. Boom. All right. I scoop this right out of the way. The shot works the same for the rear hand. Okay, so for the rear hand, I'm going to scoop it with my rear hand, because it's two orthodoxes, using the outside of my opponent's glove. So just nice and slow, she drops down to throw it, boom. There we go, use the outside of her glove, and I've scooped it away. And again, boom. All right, I've turned the hips a little bit, because guess what, that helps me counter punch. So here comes the counter, boom, boom. I've got a left hand counter. There's obviously more I can bring in. But the main thing is I'm holding my feet, that as she comes in, I'm twisting. I like to take my head to the centre line. I'm using the outside of her glove, um, her wrist, uh, to move the punch out of the way. It's put her off balance and she's going to really struggle now to bring in that lead hand. Um, and guess what? I've not been hit. All right, so I'm using good defences. So let's go jab to the body again. Boom. Backhand to the body. Boom. And again. Boom. Boom. All right. Just like that. Okay, so we've looked at the parries now. Parries to the head, parries to the body, and outside parries to the head, outside parries to the body. Um, how to defend them, and how you might counter off of them. Let us know your thoughts in the comment box. Please, if you've got anything from this, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, um, and if you don't want to miss any of the videos that we post, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when we post a video. If you want to learn a little bit more, you want to learn the basics and the fundamentals, in the comment box is the link to my online course. Thanks very much. See you soon.